Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. I've got my uh, rainbow two pitched over here, and over here I've got my hooch. I built this this morning because I didn't have one. It took me like 20 minutes, six dollar tarp, uh, but it's all done now in pitch. So the idea is, let's uh, go down and look at both of them and make a comparison. Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design, and this is the Rainbow 2. Let's climb in and take a look at it. It's called the Rainbow 2 because it's a two-man tent. It's uh, made by Henry Shire. It's called a tarp tent. I guess they call it a rainbow because it has one uh, pole that goes right from one end and goes right up around to the other end. Just one pole. And it kind of makes an arch like a rainbow. And the Rainbow 2 is because it sleeps two people where the Rainbow 1 sleeps one person. Uh, it has a nice bathtub floor with a tough bottom in it. The sides come up so if it rains you don't get wet. It's got no seam screens with nice zip, double zippers. It has screens on both sides, doors on both sides, and vestibules that will pull right down completely and close right off on both sides. Now there's room enough in here to sleep two people just about and you can also stow your gear outside underneath the vestibule if you don't mind setting it on the ground. But actually there's room enough in here for Sue and I, so we put our backpacks, we're not tall people, I'm 5'9", she's 5 foot. We put our backpacks right up in the front of it, and there's more than enough length for us to sleep with our packs inside where it's nice and dry. And then in the middle of the night if you want something, it's right there in your pack, you don't have to paw around outside in, in the wet. Uh, the no seam screens are most excellent. The zips on the doors are very high quality. It's a quick tent to put up, quick tent to put down, and it packs down to about the size of, if you want to push it, down to the size of an Nalgene bottle without the poles, and the poles don't take up much room either. They fold down to about yay long. Uh, now let's go over and take a look at the hooch. Oh, one thing I forgot. This tent costs $250, which is really a good price for a tent of this quality. So now let's go look at the hooch. Okay, this is a hooch. This is made out of a 10 by 10 tarp. It has room enough in here to sleep two people comfortably. If you take these two corners and kick them out further and lower the poles, it's better in the wind and you can actually sleep three people. It's a nice place to cook. There's plenty of ventilation. It's not a real tight tent. And it's also very low cost. I mean, you can build this tent for $20. The tarp is only 6 bucks, and depending on what you buy for glue, you might even get it for less than $20. And when it wears out, throw it away and build another one. You can even put windows in it if you want to. The drawback is there's no floor, so you're at the mercy of the weather. You want to pitch it in a dry place. And there's no seam screen, so whatever's out there is going to be in here. I'd wear a bug jacket if I was in buggy country and, and uh, was going to sleep in it at night. Uh, but all the way around for a beginner tent, especially if you're not sure whether you want to get into backpacking or not, this is probably the way to go because if you decide you don't want to get into backpacking, you can use this to cover your lawn tractor or something. I'm Tinny from Indie Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take your tent, and more important than anything, have a great day. Bye-bye.